Prime Minister Narendra Modi today said India is on the threshold of starting the largest vaccination program in the world, a day after the country formally approved the emergency use of two vaccines against the coronavirus disease. While addressing the National Metrology Conclave via video conferencing, Prime Minister Modi said the entire country is adapted to all scientists and technicians. India will not allow the export of the Oxford University AstraZeneca coronavirus vaccine for several months, the head of Serum Institute of India, which has been contracted to make 1 billion doses of the vaccine for developing nations. With rich nations reserving most of the vaccines that will be made this year, Serum Institute, the world's largest vaccine manufacturer, is likely to make most of the inoculations for developing countries, media reports say. Lok Sabha MP Dr. R.K. Ranjan today lashed out at the Manipur Secretariat for delaying progress of developmental works, especially the Agricultural and Processed Food Products Export Development Authority. Dr. Ranjan was participating in the opening ceremony of a five-day training program on value addition to fruits, vegetables and spices, skill development at ICM Lamphalpat. With 37 new COVID-19 cases recorded in Manipur in the last 24 hours, the total tally has climbed to 28,281. A 65-year-old woman from Imphal West died of the respiratory disease at RIMS Hospital in the same period, pushing the death toll to 358. The cumulative number of active cases is 1,108, while the recovery cases are 26,815. Social worker from Kwakta Municipal Council Ward No. 5, Abdul Barik, alleged partially in black topping of roads in Kwakta Municipal Council area. Barik claimed that nepotism and favoritism in the development work is visible. Assam government distributed Scooty to 15,000 girl students under Dr. Banikanta Kakoti Award. They got through higher secondary examination 2020 in the first division. Assam Education Minister Dr. Himanta Biswasarma said that the scheme was introduced to encourage parents to engross in their children's education. Notably, the scheme was implemented in 2018-19 with a budget of Rs. 144 crore. India added 16,504 coronavirus infections in the past 24 hours, placing its overall number at 1.03 core cases. The Health Ministry data showed. In this period, India reported 214 deaths linked to the virus, taking the total number of fatalities to 1,49,649. Meanwhile, India's drugs regulator yesterday approved Oxford COVID-19 vaccine Covishield, manufactured by the Serum Institute, an indigenously developed co-vaccine of Bharat Biotech for restricted emergency use in the country, paving the way for a massive inoculation drive. Ahead of the assembly polls, Bengal police has seized at least 22 bombs from an under-construction building in Kolkata's Antali area. Four owners of the building and the promoter were detained on Saturday, a media report said. Acting on a tip-off, special task force in Kolkata police personnel raided the building on Sir Syed Ahmed Road and seized the bombs kept in two boxes. Due to the farmers' protests against the centre's agricultural reforms, routes connecting Delhi to Ghaziabad and Noida via Ghazipur and Chilla borders remained partially closed today. Farmers from different states have been camping at various border points of Delhi for 40 days now to demand the repeal of the three farm laws enacted in September and legal backing for the minimum support price.